Welcome to Sino-US Observation. Here, you can learn about the hot events between China and the US. If you are interested, don't forget to follow our channel. According to relevant reports, the six test aircraft of China's C919 large passenger aircraft have successfully completed all test flight tasks. The C919 is a large civil jet aircraft developed by China and with independent intellectual property rights that IT adopts a single-aisle narrow-body layout with 158 to 168 seats and a range of 4075 to 5555 kilometers and is the same level as the most common Airbus 320 and Boeing 737 models. In the international aviation market, the C919 large passenger aircraft completed the final assembly in November 2015 and successfully made its first flight in May 2017. At present, it has accumulated 815 orders from 28 customers. In March last year, China Eastern Airlines and Comac formally signed the purchase contract for the first batch of five C919 aircraft, and China Eastern Airlines will become the first airline in the world to operate C919. According to the announcement issued by China Eastern Airlines on May 10, 2022, the unit price of the C919 is 653 million yuan, equivalent to 99 million US dollars. Yang Jigang, chief engineer of pre-research of COMAC, pointed out that most of the performance indicators of the domestic large aircraft C919 are the same as the current Airbus A320 and Boeing 737, and even better than Airbus A320 and Boeing 737 in terms of aerodynamic layout. The plane is designed to challenge the monopoly formed by Airbus and Boeing. So how strong is this plane? First, the good body. The Chinese C919 is 4.166 meters high, 38.9 meters long, and has a wingspan of 33.6 meters, making it the widest fuselage in its class. But it also has bigger eyes than similar airliners, reducing the original six windshield design to four, reducing flight resistance and increasing driving vision. Second, strong design. The C919 model designer of the Shanghai Aircraft Design and Research Institute introduced that the supercritical wing under the design and development of the C919 can reduce the drag of the aircraft, improve the performance of the aircraft, and help reduce fuel consumption. The first time we independently designed a supercritical airfoil, it reached the world's advanced level and was recognized by international counterparts. Third, new materials. C919 also uses aluminum lithium alloy materials on a large scale. The total amount of advanced materials represented by third generation aluminum lithium alloys and composite materials accounts for 26.2% of the weight of the aircraft structure. It also boldly experimented with green processing methods such as 3D printing of titanium alloys. Fourth, made in China. For a complex product like a large aircraft, the overall design is extremely important. The chief designer of my country's domestic large passenger aircraft, C919 emphasized that China has completely independent intellectual property rights for the overall design of the aircraft. In addition to technological breakthroughs, China's C919 is also very attractive. As a large aircraft with completely independent intellectual property rights in China, C919 also has a unique Chinese imprint in its name. The full name of C919 is Comac 919, COMAC is the abbreviation of the English name of COMAC, the main manufacturer of C919, and C is both the first letter of COMAC and the first letter of China's English name China. In the digital part, the 19 in the back means that the C919 large passenger plane can carry a maximum of 190 passengers, while the first 9 means everlasting and hides a good expectation for it. C919 often responds to everyone's concerns and wishes in various ways. Before the Mid-Autumn Festival in 2019, C919 aircraft 104 painted a large sugar heart mooncake during the test flight of the Navigation LOC Omnidirectional Subject. Netizen side too good at playing, but also felt at ease and excited, strong controllability and trustworthy. So how long will the C919 be available for commercial operation? The completion of the certification test flight of the C919 means that it is only a matter of time before it obtains the airworthiness certificate from the Civil Aviation Administration of China. Commercial operation is not yet available, but the final commercial operation is only the last step. If the process goes well, C919 is expected to obtain the CAAC's type certificate from August to September. However, C919 still needs to obtain PC and AC 
airworthiness certificate, and obtaining the airworthiness certificate is equivalent to the Bureau's approval that C919 is in a safe flight state, that is, airworthiness. After all three certificates are obtained, the airworthiness certificate is all over. A senior captain said that in addition to obtaining the airworthiness certificate issued by the Civil Aviation Administration of China, COMEC also needs to obtain the European Aviation Safety Agency, EASA, Airworthiness Certificate and the American Aviation Administration, FAA, Airworthiness Certificate in the future. Put into commercial operation abroad. So far, China Eastern Airlines, as the world's first startup user of the domestically produced large aircraft C919, has officially signed a C919 large passenger aircraft purchase contract with COMAC in Shanghai. Airline. According to the preliminary arrangement of China Eastern Airlines, after the introduction of the five aircraft, Shanghai will be the main base, and routes from Shanghai to Beijing Daxing, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Chengdu, Xiamen, Wuhan, Qingdao, etc. will be encrypted. In addition, Air China, China Southern Airlines, Hainan Airlines, Sichuan Airlines, Happiness Airlines, Hebei Airlines, etc. are also interested in ordering. A total of 815 orders from 28 customers have been accumulated. After China C919 is put into commercial operation, how will it drive China's industrial development, and what is the significance? The chairman of COMAC once said that China's civil aviation industry chain driven by the C919 large passenger aircraft contains huge potential. Taking Shanghai as the leader, 22 provinces and cities including Shaanxi, Sichuan, Jiangxi, Liaoning and Jiangsu, more than 200 enterprises and nearly 200,000 people participated in the development and production of large passenger aircraft projects, forming an industrial chain, value chain and innovation chain, 16 joint ventures for airborne systems such as avionics, flight control, power supply, fuel oil and landing gear have raised the supporting energy level of China's civil aircraft. Industry this not only significantly improves the fundamentals of the development of my country's civil aviation industry, but also forges an industrial chain with huge potential for China's economic transformation and upgrading. In the future, with the advancement of the large passenger aircraft project and the mass production of my country's jet passenger aircraft, this industrial chain will gradually exert its huge economic potential. China's ambition to move up the manufacturing supply chain is a milestone for China to achieve this ambition. COMAC has become the third option in the aircraft market besides Airbus and Boeing. The C919 is reportedly designed to compete directly with the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737 family of aircraft. Since its launch in 2008, the C919 aircraft program has faced a series of technical problems and tighter U.S. export controls. The C919 is assembled in China but still relies on Western-made components, including engines and avionics. Deutsche Welle radio station pointed out in the report that the COMAC C919 is the first large-scale civil aircraft developed in China and is scheduled to be delivered this year. So far, no Chinese planes of this type have taken off from airports in Germany or elsewhere in Europe, but the dominance of Western aircraft makers may soon come to an end. COMAC, which will deliver the C919 this year, considers itself on the same track as Airbus and Boeing, and hopes the C919 will compete with the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737.